guys, it's Emily, and today I'm here to bring you a tag video. It's been a while since I did a tag video, and I have a whole bunch of them that I need to do, so I'm hoping that over the next few weeks I can do like one every other week and then have a recent rates video in between each one. You can probably tell I got myself a ring light, so I'm trying to film this at night, so we'll see how this goes. And I also got myself some new editing software where I can put the pictures of books right here again, so we'll see how it works out. So this first tag I'm doing is the bookish, book, bookish Boxes and Bugs Words tag, and this was created back in August of 2018, a year ago, by Elizabeth from Lizzie Babe Loves Books, and she tagged me in her original video, so I'm finally getting around to doing it. So here it is, Elizabeth, and okay, I'm so excited, so let's get right into it. First question is, what is your go-to genre or favorite type of book? And for me, that's going to be nonfiction in general, and then specifically, I really enjoy American history nonfiction. Um, I also enjoy religious nonfiction, and I also enjoy nonfiction that's like about um, true crime, I guess you would say, or like, like, more literary crime per se. So yeah, I really enjoy nonfiction. I also really enjoy mysteries and I enjoy um like historical fiction as well. But yeah, I would say nonfiction is like my all time favorite genre. Question two is um talk about some retellings that you are drawn to. What kind of retellings do you like to read? And the one that immediately popped into my mind was Jane Austen retellings. I really enjoyed uh, like modern um, retellings of Pride and Prejudice or Persuasion. I also really enjoy like books about Jane's life. Um, I read the Jane Austen mystery series recently. Uh, last year I read one a month and I really enjoyed that. I just really enjoyed Jane Austen's world and Jane Austen as a person. So yeah, those those are like my number one kind. Like if I see a book that says Jane Austen or is about a Jane Austen book, I'm gonna at least pick it up and read the blurb, if, even if I don't get to reading it. Number three is, what are some lifestyles or careers that you're drawn to? Um, what, like, if you see a character and what kind of careers do you want your characters to have? And for this, for me, it's gonna be um, writers or journalists or librarians, because those are the three careers that I've been interested in throughout my life. I also really enjoy books about older people, like um, A Man Called Ova is a really good book that I enjoyed, and um, of course Major Pettigrew's Last Stand, which is one of my all-time favorite books. And I have two books on my um, TBR that I really want to get to soon, um, Willie and Boxfish, and then um, the book about Arthur Pepper. I really want to get to both of those because those both have older characters in them. So yeah, those are my the characters and the careers and lifestyles that I really look for in my book. Number four is places or settings you're drawn to in your books. And for me, that's going to be England. Again, Major Pettigrew is set in England. All of Jane Austen's books are set in England. I think Arthur Pepper is either even set in England. So yeah, I just really enjoy England's history and their culture and their whole vibe. I don't know. I just really love it. It's probably because I read Harry Potter at an impressionable age. I don't know. But yeah, I really enjoy books set in England. Number five is relationships that you are drawn to and that you enjoy reading about. And for me, my thing is always books about friend groups. And the one I wrote down as the example is The Wednesday Sisters, which is about a group of women that get together all to watch um, the Miss America pageant every year. And then they also, I believe they like go to the park on Wednesdays with their kids. It's been a while since I read it. And I also recently read The Group. And so I really enjoyed that book. And that's about a group of college friends. And there's other ones um, like Commencement by J. Court. Lee Sullivan is about a group of college friends. I just really enjoy friend groups and specifically women friend groups. Number six is what are some buzzwords in the title of the book that are going to draw you in? And for me, I wrote down book. Any time there's a book with the word book in it um, or bookstore. Also the word cat because I love cats. 
I also really enjoyed um, books about Benjamin Franklin. I wrote my undergraduate thesis on Benjamin Franklin and his Junto Club. So if there's ever a nonfiction book or a fiction book that's got the word Benjamin Franklin in it, I'm going to look at the cover. I also really like words, uh, books with the word library in the title because, of course, I'm a librarian. So yeah, anything bookish, library related, I'm going to look at the look at the board. Number seven is things on book covers that draw you in. And I wrote down bright colors, you know, like yellow books, bright orange, um, um, clean design. One of the books that I really liked recently was um, Lab Girl, the UK edition, and I actually bought it from um, the Book Depository, so I'll put it right here. And then, um, Homegoing by Yacht Jossi, also the UK edition. So UK editions I am attracted to. There's something about um, the bright colors and the cleanness of the design. I just really like that. Um, book set, like if a book cover has books on it. I really enjoy that. Cats, again, if a book got a cat on it, I'm going to look at it. I enjoy purple books a lot because purple is my favorite color. And then, yeah, just anything bookish, cats, purple, I'm there to look at the cover. Number eight is nonfiction buzzwords. What type of um, nonfiction are you drawn to? Historical nonfiction is my main thing that I like to read. Um, you know, Revolutionary War era in particular, because again, Benjamin Franklin, and yeah, just anything about American history, I'm going to be really interested in, and I'm going to look at the board. When I go to half price books, the first section I go to is the history section to look at all the history books. So that's what I really enjoy. Number 10 is time of year or time in history that you are drawn to. Again, Revolutionary War period. I'm always going to look at books about the Revolutionary War. And then I also... Um, time of year, I would probably say like spring or fall. I really enjoy spring or fall. Winter is okay, but that, I don't really like winter. And summer, I don't like summer because it always makes me feel hot. And like, I never want to read summer books except in the summer. And in Texas, it's so hot. So yeah, I don't want to, I don't like that. The last two questions are bonus questions. The bonus question number one is, um, what are any bookish boxes or buzzwords that are not already mentioned that draw you in? And I really like um, strong women. So anytime somebody says there's a strong woman character, you know, strong female character, or if it's got like a woman standing on the cover, or there's some indication in the board that there's going to be, you know, strong independent women, I'm down for that. And then bonus number two is what book is boxes or buzzwords turn you away from a book and for me that's just genre like um sci-fi horror fantasy i'm not like super into any of those so i generally don't read those although if somebody like raves about it and it's a booktuber i trust i probably would pick it up for example i read the entire um oh shoot what are they called wayfarers trilogy by Becky Chambers because of, um, you know, amazing reviews on booktube. So I would check it out if the good board, and there was a good board, but generally speaking, I'm not going to look into anything that's um, speculative. But yeah, so thanks for tagging me last year, Elizabeth. Um, I'm really glad that I finally got around to doing this tag. I'm, as I mentioned earlier, I'm planning to do all of my tags. So if you tag me, I'm hoping to get to it. And I know about it, assuming I know about it. If you think I, if you tag me and you think I don't know about it, feel free to comment and let me know so that I could get to it. I have um, six tags on my list, this one being the first one. So I got five more to do. So hopefully over the next few months, I'll get the rest of these done. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope everybody's having a great day. I don't know about this lighting situation. I, I feel like my face looks really weird. So I don't know if I can film at night. I, I might have to readjust my filming location if I'm gonna keep using this light. But anyway, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!